Hey, how's everyone doing? Step right back into the crypto rush, the place where all your crypto needs are met. Ripple here, your host. Van Winkle's assuming all went well. The weekend was fantastic. So be it. The dreaded Monday has here. However, what plans do you have? Wow, here we are at the beginning of yet another week that will be over before you know it. This bull market is going to heat up in the fourth quarter, which is coming up in September. I'm already looking forward to it. Rip off the covers at 5 a.m. On my way to the casino, arrived at about 6.15. Before 7 o'clock, we were required to use our free play. Everyone today at the casino was a bust. Today was terrible. Time and again, they spat us out. With our tails between our legs, we returned home. If so, tell me. We are well aware that success is not guaranteed every time. You know? It's simply bad. The remainder of the day was spent sleeping when I caught up. My weekend was like that. We have arrived. To be honest, I was hoping to avoid getting out of bed today. I'm currently awake and would prefer to sleep in, but I have to go to work. However, that will soon change. Take note of what I say here. We will examine the fiat leak. XRP is doing something while the market. This is down, so we'll take a look at its pricing. The current situation is completely unclear to me. We'll start with Keith's thoughts on XRP and its current price movement, followed by the major announcement, which by now everyone has likely heard. At this juncture, I would propose that the records from the Ripple vs. SCC litigation reveal all 1,700 non-disclosure agreements I mentioned during the live stream that there is a lot of information in those documents that needs to be processed. It was and is quite new, so we will continue to find new pieces of information as we go through it. I promised you that after this litigation was resolved, we would have a clearer picture of Ripple's inner workings. Has everyone been dreaming or is this actually happening? Holy cow, it's happening. Let's get right down to business. The price of Bitcoin has dropped 3.08% in the last 24 hours to $58,111. At $2,576, Ethereum comes in first. 2.82% is the decline. The US dollar bundle contains USDT. The US dollar cash rate is 99 cents. Meanwhile, XRP has seen a rise of 2.18%. With a mean lean 58 cents put up. The entire value of all cryptocurrencies is $2 trillion or $75.0 billion. I don't know what to do next. It's an excellent question. It's a question worth a million dollars. We are still within the chop range, you know, nothing is happening. We're merely cutting. From $54 to $63, it's a huge drop. And Bitcoin is firmly anchored in the $58,000, $59,000 range. An explosion is imminent. Is it going to arrive this month or as the election season approaches? We're holding out for it. There are two possible outcomes here, but one thing is certain the market is bullish and prices will continue to rise. So if you haven't already, get your NFT before the month ends. The more XRP you have, the more you will receive in rewards. Back 800,000 XRP has been paid out. Give that some thought and then apply it to any other NFT project running on the XRP ledger. Compared to these other initiatives, we have returned more XRP to our holders. With a combined total of funds, nearly all XRP ledger projects have been funded. Plus, we have three months left until we have to release our token on the metaverse, which is about to happen, and we have enormous games coming out. That's going to annihilate this ecology. There will soon be a flux boom. In passing, if you don't purchase these from Lux, the secondary market prices will be significantly higher. My recommendation is that you investigate the XRP Ledger's greatest NFT project and then dive in. Fiali released this. Over the last two days, XRP has displayed several indications that could indicate a possible breakout. They released it yesterday and it was accurate. We did some light push-ups, didn't we? What they claimed was market. Momentum and encouraging developments in Ripple's ongoing SEC litigation have kept the token price between $0.57 and $0.65. Experts predict that XRP could reach new heights if it overcomes these important resistance levels. While they're ignoring the $0.75 level, the most significant barrier in that area, still, I agree with them. Get a load of this. It's about to pop. In our experience, it prefers to travel alone. It stands on its own. We all know it prefers to do its own thing at its own pace, and that, for some inexplicable reason, nobody will try to influence it. Something is cooking if the loan currency today is green. Crypto the stage is set, according to Michael. Here we go. Our journey begins at the break of dawn. To be honest, I'm confused by that. After the XRP price. 
increases, I will show it to you because it seemed promising. Before we get into our Dawn ride, I want to talk about Keith, the one and only TA analyst you should be paying attention to. Keith warns you about every move months in advance so you know it's coming. So you can stay away from all that hopium. Here you may listen to his XRP analysis, Fib B82, which is still the equivalent. Of 60 cents hardball, I forewarned you this would occur. Just how many more times do we need to say it on this platform before anyone pays attention? But there is good news, you know, just where I said I wanted Bitcoin to be above all the moving averages. Do you see that? Above each and every moving average is good. It is good. The issue, it may take a moment to reflect about the situation. Bitcoin, like I was saying before, I would love to see it accomplish this. And such. A situation it may become stuck and need to pause, gather its thoughts. The Bollinger Bands, which you can see here, get tight, and they're not tight at all. These don't fit the bill. They should hunch over a bit more. After they further compress, volatility will increase, and we should be able to move up to the next level of Fib Line, which is another mathematical support and resistance line currently. We are under it, so it will serve as resistance at 75 cents. Did you notice that I've already drawn this out for you here with arrows? Crazy enough, I found this months and months before it was even scheduled. We almost feel as though the chart foretold this would transpire. No Riddler or Warrior Princess was necessary to inform me that it would occur was there. You want to push back because you believe I can't possibly be right about this and I know that this makes people mad and angry and that they detest me for it. This has nothing to do with. I being correct. It all comes down to the chart's accuracy. Reporting it to you is all I'm doing. So we're still wasting time and energy on this consolidation nonsense. As I mentioned before, it is likely to continue moving downwards until the Bollinger Bands become more constrictive. It might fire another shot up here towards 65, but that's fine with me. And again, 65 to 65. Attempting. To retest this trend line, I anticipate a run up here to approximately 75 cents once it breaks, though it hasn't done so yet. After that, a fade back should occur. That fade back is when the real bang comes in, all right? This trend line requires repeated testing. Even though it's terrible, I think it will probably happen. When you see the checkbox, that's the time to go. Let me repeat this as far from being. The first instance of its kind throughout history. It's bound to happen, so we'll keep broaching the subject till then. In 2020, the exact same event occurred simultaneously on the XRP chart. You crossed the trend line, reconsolidated, and then hit the go time, which fell somewhere between the midway point and your last opportunity? Hey there folks, we're halfway through so it's not nearly the last chance. Observe that? It's still a ways off. Going all the way back to the beginning, we're... Back in this zone. From the bottom till last chance, you can see that we're currently in an uptrend. The trend break hasn't occurred yet, but it will. we can go back to 2016 because everyone loves talking about this. Once the trend break occurs, there will be some consolidation and then it will be takeoff time. By this, I don't mean the moon soon, I mean finally making some upper levels that we haven't made in a really long time. Here we go again, 75 cents is the starting point. Then $1, $30, $50, $50 $75, and finally about $2. The price won't skyrocket to where you anticipate it will. It will be quite challenging to break those numbers. They will eventually be broken, or at least tested by it. No, not just yet, yet again. And that is all. Behold, the playbook is right here. It's really that easy. You were told. Crypto is a piece of cake. Basically, all you have to do is sell green and purchase red, then sit back and watch as the price goes up. All we need to do is that. Will we be making another crack in the 60 to 65 cent area, as Keith mentioned? We could be regular people, could we not? It's not yet time, but we're still in the neighborhood of an hour. Bands bull peaks are too loose. Our moment will come.